أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ومولانا محمد وآله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم My dear respected brothers and sisters and children السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Few of my brothers and sisters they have reached out again once again uh, to me and they said I should record a small video explaining the issue of the moon sighting I have spoken on this issue for many many years and I have written on it and I have spoken about it Unfortunately, this issue is, uh, is not getting resolved within the Muslim community and there are some serious re reasons for it. As far as the Halal Committee of Canada is concerned, which is basically our Halal Committee in Canada, we have a very clearly defined position from day one. Since we, Alhamdulillah, after the establishment of the Islamic Supreme Council of Canada, we have, I have always said that, alhamdulillah, we live in a scientific age, technology has advanced and every imam, every mufti, every religious person is using science and technology in all aspects of their lives. But when it comes to uh, the moon sighting, they, they just have a very different criteria. So we, can, we must use science and technology that we always use for other um, issues and other problems and other needs. Uh, five daily prayers, uh, nobody goes and looks for, uh, you know, the size of the shadow and the position of the stars and the position of the sun. Uh, everybody looks at the watch, which is science, which is technology. We can do the same thing uh, for, uh, for uh, calculating the months. Uh, and we should do that. And Alhamdulillah, the trend is, is, is going towards that. Uh, but the only thing is, when we are using uh, watches, which is science and technology, for five daily prayers, we we just don't calculate time on our own. We still follow the time that is defined by Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. When we look at the watch, we know it's a Zuhr time. When we look at the watch, we know it's a Fajr time. When we look at the watch, we know it's a Isha time and, and, and so on. So we still use science and technology based upon the criteria that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam has defined and our Sharia of Islamia has defined. We must use the same thing, same concept for, for calculating the months. So we, alhamdulillah, we use, the Al Committee of Canada uses the science and technology, but based upon the criteria defined by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. I know Isna and Ikna and uh, Umul Qura calendar and other calendars, there are, there are many different calendars people have, organizations have developed. But their criteria is not based upon the Sharia that required by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the moon has to be mature enough to be sighted. That's it. So Alhamdulillah, um, a Hilal Committee of Canada we follow the criteria that we believe what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that Hilal, the new moon has to be mature enough that it can be visible any place during uh, during our um, uh, matla and Hilal Committee of Canada has defined the matla is the entire North and South America that also includes the Latin America because why this is the matla? The reason is oh, most of the night and day in these two continents overlaps with each other. Most of them, not all of it. There are few hours differences from east to west. But most of the night and most of the day between among these two uh, area, uh, areas, North and South um, uh, Americas and the Latin America is is, is same. So that's why this is the matla that Hilal Community of Canada has defined. So if we see the moon in the west, it is acceptable to the east. If we see the moon in the east, it is acceptable to the west. So this is the matla. Why we don't follow the Saudi Arabia? The reason is we do not share the day and night with Saudi Arabia. 
uh, and and on other problem with Saudi announcement is that sometime, not all the time, the Saudi announcement absolutely goes against the uh, the criteria of science and technology. Science says moon will not be visible in Saudi Arabia, but they def they announce it that our oh, moon has been seen. When science is saying, I have to believe in science. Science cannot be wrong. Science is taking pe people to space and moon and and uh, other planets. So science cannot be wrong. When science says it cannot be visible, it cannot be visible. So how somebody can see moon in Saudi Arabia? But not it is not all the time, but it is some of the time it does happen. So that's why the Saudi announcement is not credible because they just do it if they want to do it. In Hilal Committee of Canada, uses the support and help from science and technology but based upon the criteria of Rasulullah that the, the, at least two Muslims from these two continents not just Calgary not just Toronto not just one place entire two continents South and North Americas if two Muslims come up and say we have seen the moon we believe them my dear brothers and sisters we used to follow the uh, Toronto Hilal Committee. We did for many, many years. Jami Radul Jannah in Mississauga, we always followed. Our represented used to representative used to attend the meetings of the Toronto Hilal Committee. But about four or five years ago, they started uh, talking about Deobandi versus Barelvis. So when they become sectarian, we, we, we uh, disconnected ourselves from the Toronto Hilal Committee. There are some Brailvi organizations in the North and South uh, in North America, especially Canada and United States. But these very small Brailvi um, uh, school of thought organizations, they they don't follow anybody except one person in Houston, and and so they have a very strong loyalty with this particular Imam Sahib, uh, Mufti Sahib, uh, in in uh, United States in Houston. If he says the moon has been sighted, they will accept. Regardless, the whole world will say the moon has been sighted, they will not accept. So they are also not, on, according to us, on the right path. So third organization, which is also from the Bravely School of Thought, their Canadian organization follow the Isna calendar, while their American organization follow the uh, Ruit e Hilal. So they, they are also um, not on a, a solid ground where we can, we can say, yes, they, they have one single criteria. So, so because of this whole, whether a strong loyalty with some one specific person until that person says we're not going to accept, that happens with some organizations. Or the criteria of a calendar, which is not based upon the defi definition of Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, that the moon has to be visible enough, mature enough to be visible. Uh, and you can, say, you don't, everybody does not have to see it. In two continents, only one, only two Muslims can see it. And we don't care whether it is, as long as they are Muslim, this is fine. The difference in the school of thoughts, sectarian, that does not work with us. We consider all brothers and sisters who believe in Allah's wahdahu la shariq and Nabi alayhi salam is the last and the final messenger. They are our brothers and sisters in Islam and we just take their uh, shahada also. We don't get into this mess. This is Barelvi, Wahhabi, Salafi, Sufi and this kind of things. Shia, Sunni. No, we don't get into this thing. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is the reason that Hilal Committee of Canada is the organization that we should all follow because they are using science and technology but based upon the criteria defined by Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. So Eid al-Adha, inshallah, will be on July 20th in North and South Americas. Uh, it's a coincidence that the Saudis have announced the same thing, which is fine. But our announcement is not following the Saudi announcement. Because as I mentioned, that the Saudi announcement is not credible. Um, we are following the moon sighting. So there has been visibility of moon in San Diego. Uh, there were visibility of moon by Muslims in uh, Chiapas in uh, Mexico. So anywhere in the North and South America, if any two Muslims can see and give the witness of the uh, moon sighting, we always accept. May Allah accept uh, the Qurbani or Adhiyah that uh, you will be doing on the day of Eid al-Adha, inshallah, may Allah accept. And those who are performing Hajj, may Allah keep them safe, healthy and safe and accept their Hajj. 
MashaAllah, these 10 days of Zul Hajjah are very honorable days, very Mubarak, very sacred, very holy days. And these days are uh, for us to offer as much nafli ibadah that we can do. And those who have gone for Hajj, Alhamdulillah, they will perform their Hajj, inshallah. And on the um, uh, 10th Zul Hajjah in North America, which is on 20th of July, we will do Qurbani or what you call Udhiya, inshallah, those who have uh, enough money to bear the expenses or those who give zakat, they also do the uh, the, the Udhiya or Qurbani on the Eid al-Adha. May Allah accept our good deeds. May Allah unite all Muslims and may Allah give us some wisdom to, to uh, but not to, but not to uh, go away from the criteria defined by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Give us wisdom that we is, is, uh, adhere to the guidance of Quran and Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam and use in science and technology uh, as a support, as a tool. Wa ma'alayna illa al-balagh.